All right, so if you thought yesterday was a little too hot, I mean, near 80 can get, you know, a little toasty for some. This is a little bit cooler weather, right? A little bit cooler. We're still above average, right, yeah. today. And it's nice outside. We have some sunshine outside. Still nice weather. Uh, not Probably not record-breaking today. Uh, and not even normal. We're still going to be above average. But still not too bad of a day. We've been watching this here on the viaduct. Wow. Uh, the viaduct cam. And uh, Rich and I were fascinated by this all day. Uh, there was another third line right over here. And they just had, uh, we missed it, but they just had the these uh, T-Rex-like uh, uh, machine that was uh, up from the ground and just cutting it and then just uh, taking little bites out of that. So that's how they're going to get that down. So just kind of an interesting shot there. I know he was uh, showing that to you yesterday as well. T-Mobile Park, the sign's up there. If you haven't seen that yet, you can see uh, across the street here, uh, the former Safeco Field, now T-Mobile Park, and uh, the Mariners' home opener one week from today. And it's against the Red Sox at 410. We're going to be, uh, you know, a little bit cooler than we've had the last few days, but this is still above normal temperatures here. Or right about average 56 to 58 partly sunny a few possible showers the roof will be open though there's not gonna be a lot of showers and of course we have our countdown to summer now we are 92 days away from our summer and uh, can't wait for that as well next 12 hours looking like this in the seattle area one o'clock will be at 58 degrees warms up into the uh, mid 60s as you can see there then we cool off a bit but no rain just clouds uh, a little bit of clouds but we're going to see some sunshine uh, filtered sunshine throughout the day and it's uh, actually gorgeous right outside here now yesterday as you know was a record breaker in Olympia hit 79 degrees. The old record was 73. How about 79 in Hoquiam, 79 in Forks out on the coast today, though, you're probably not even getting sun out in those two locations because it's staying a little bit cool as that marine layer brought in those clouds. We can see the temperatures throughout the area right now. 57 in North Bend, 54 in Port Orchard, 55 up on Orcas Island. The high pressure is moving east and now we are getting this system that's going to move in and bring us showers. That's not going to happen until late Friday and we're not going to get a lot of rain. We'll show you uh, late tonight uh, at 830 in the evening and you can see here still some clouds on the coast. Like I said, it's not going to lift too much until overnight by 7 a.m. tomorrow. Still a pretty nice day, but then the showers do start coming in Friday 230 in the afternoon. Then you have scattered showers moving into the Seattle area late in the evening on Friday and then off and on on Saturday as well. It's going to be a pretty cloudy though, as you can see, uh, but not really uh, too much of a downpour coming your way over the weekend. Temperatures today looking like this. We're going to get to 62 in Victoria, 58 in Anacortes. We'll see a high today in Seattle of 64 degrees, 65 in Bellevue. As uh, we travel to the South Sound, we could see temperatures near Centralia and Chehalis are going to be upwards of uh, 61, 62 degrees like that. The South Puget Sound and the coastal areas uh, looking like this with your temperature since the clouds aren't going anywhere. Going to see high temperatures in the mid 50s and on in eastern Washington, we have uh, temperatures looking like this 66 for Moses Lake, 61 in Spokane and our seven day forecast is uh, looking pretty good. You can see here 64 is where we're going to get to today with morning clouds, mostly sunny skies though. Our uh, rain is going to be just a little bit of a chance of rain on Friday. More of it as you can see over the weekend, but we're back to uh, normal temperatures and uh, just kind of a spring spring like uh, situation, but I wouldn't really call this spring showers though because it's not a lot of rain.